Joined now by one of the newest members of the Manitoba Moose, Tyson MP. Tyson, good to finally get a chance to catch up with you here. Uh, let's just talk about the whole process of uh, signing your contract with the Manitoba Moose. How did it come about? And uh, just talk about your excitement to join the club this year. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm really excited to be a part of uh, Manitoba Moose organization. Um, when season ended this year, I was with the Hershey Bears and I was kind of looking for the, the next step. And Manitoba, you know, had an offer for me and I was really excited about it. It was a place close to home, a uh, place to where I played juniors in Flin Flon, Manitoba. And so I was just really excited to get the chance to play in front of some fans, friends and family. Uh, you talk about Hershey. I mean, back-to-back -back Calder Cup champions. What can you say about that organization? What was it like, obviously, being around the club during that playoff run as well? Uh, yeah, no, it was a great organization, a really tight-knit team, great guys, uh, the staff from the coaches, strength coach, uh, the trainers, the the media guys, everyone, you know, it was all, all great people. Can't, can't say enough good things about that organization and what an experience it was just to be a part of all that. And then what can you just say about your, your year in South Carolina, the ECHL too? I mean, you look at your point totals and then just this year, it just exploded in terms of uh, goals and assists for yourself. What happened this year that sort of led to that point production for you? Um, I think it was just uh, you know, the coach, Brendan Kodak there. He had a lot of trust, trust in me, putting me in uh, some good situations, obviously. And then I think I just, uh, I don't know, my game has just matured. I've kind of found out ways to, use my strength to my advantage and uh, had some really good teammates there that helped make things easier. And uh, I don't know, things just seemed to click. We had a good team there too. It was a shame we didn't make playoffs. Thought we deserved better there, but uh, we had a really fun year there. And uh, Charleston's a great city. And now joining Manitoba too, is this a club that you have any uh, maybe previous connections with, whether it be coaches, players? I mean, obviously it's a pretty young team going forward here, but um, are there any guys you know on this team or that maybe have played on this team previously that gave you a good uh, sort of word on the organization heading into it? Um, I don't know anyone currently that's signed there on the team. Um, I haven't really talked to too many guys yet. Um, but uh, Alex Limoge uh, was with Hershey this year. He played in, in Manitoba. And so I talked to him. He had a lot of great things to say about the team and the organization. Um, and then, uh, just about the city. I mean, I've been there a couple of times as a kid and stuff, uh, but that's really about it. Yeah. And you talk about being here as a kid and growing up sort of near Manitoba. Um, do you remember a lot of about the moose when you were a younger kid? I mean, obviously this is a big year for Manitoba being, you know, 25 seasons of the moose, uh, in Winnipeg. Um, do you have any sort of memories of whether it be going to games as a kid or just sort of any memories of the moose when you were a younger child? Uh, I mean, being from Swift Current, it's still like a little bit of a drive. So I never got to go to any games or anything like that. I always knew who the Moose were um, and that type of thing. But uh, mainly just came to Winnipeg for a couple of tournaments as a kid and stuff like that. Nothing crazy. I gotcha. And then just, I mean, what is the excitement though? Like you said, uh, you kind of mentioned off the top, but just being close to home, being um, sort of out of rank and in a city where your family can maybe take a quick flight or a quick drive and get into um, what does that mean to you to be able to have that opportunity to, you know, play some games that's back up in Canada and sort of close to home for yourself? Yeah, no, it uh, definitely means a lot. I mean, that's the closest I've been to home probably since I was 16 years old. Um, so my family's really excited to get the chance to come, come see some more hockey games this year, hopefully, and uh, just get to visit more and see me on holidays and stuff like that a little more often. So it's been uh, not so many visits the last couple of years being really far away. So everyone's really excited. And then for fans who might not have been able to see your games in the ECHL with Hershey, just sort of what sort of style of game do you bring and what can uh, fans expect when you're on the ice for Manitoba? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, really physical, four-check hard. Um, don't shy away from the front of the net or the corners. like to take pucks hard to the net, finish my checks, and uh, stick up for teammates and fight when I need to. And you got anything else, built, uh, anything else big planned for the summer or just sort of kicking back and doing a little more training before heading to camp here in a couple months? Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, gonna spend uh, the next week or so at my parents' lake in Saskatchewan at their cabin there. And uh, besides that, I'll just be getting into the training. Awesome, Tyson. Well, thanks again for the time. Congrats on the deal. Looking forward to seeing you here at camp in a couple months. Awesome. Thanks for the call. Looking forward to seeing you too.